Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. He had COVID a couple weeks ago, <laughs> but he's better now. <laughs> oh, what did he look like when he was young? Yeah, what did Grant, you look like? Grant, what did like you look like, like when you were young? <laughs> Toehead. 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 <laughs> Classic. You're like a future cop. <laughs> What do you mean, toe head? What does that mean? Baby blonde. Blonde. Baby baby white blonde. Oh my god. Babies are blonde, and then it always changes. Like toe that. head. Look like oh, is that a fright? Is <laughs> yeah, that an actual you call toe? Little blonde babies. Toe head. Toe head. Yeah, right. Do toes often have blonde hair on the tip of them? Wait. Yeah, What's... I don't even know what cowlick is. <laughs> oh, it's the wall. Oh, I also have those. Was some sort of... You have cowlicks? Yeah, it's like when. Uh, and a toe. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, you. No, but like, like, who picked that? Oh, stupid, like, like toe head and cowlick. It's stupid. Both of them. Yeah, it's cowlick. from ancient Gaelic. Ancient A bunch Gaelic, of old. I yeah, I want to yeah. know the mud the farmers origin <laughs> of those phrases. Yeah, they're like, oh, the like mud... cowlick. Like, how often are cows licking newborn babies? Like, I don't <laughs> cowlick. But if they did, they'd probably fuck up its hair. <laughs> that's I think that's the idea. It sticks stuck that way. <laughs> yeah, that was the ancient. Moose. Back Any in cowlicks, the Casey? Do you have a cowlick? Y'all look great. Uh, and kind we are of, yeah. <laughs> Especially because, yeah, my hair is thinning a lot. So, yeah, my hair just goes cuckoo nuts in the morning. It goes Cow- totally <laughs> cowlicked. <laughs> yeah, you should see mine. Mine looks crazy. I had to jump in the shower. I was kind of sulking around today, Erica. I wasn't being mean or anything, was I? But I was just kind of sulking a little bit. Ooh. Withdraw. Uh-huh. Whoa. Are you going to throw me under the bus like... Makes him mean. <laughs> Drug use is not in the I Bible. I have been taking little pieces of Adderall. I have found that I was taking too much. If I take just Withdrawal. a little quarter of the thing, I feel pretty good. It's a whole nightmare right now, Hans. Until you wake up in the morning. Until I wake up in the morning. Normally, I'm pretty good. I don't know what... Lately, I... this has been... But, no... but a lot of time, you are like that. Like what? Mean. Mean? Because of Adderall? sad. And I'm like, get up. And he's like, I don't want to. Wait, so Ad- <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere he today. He was supposed to get a pedicure with me this morning. He fucking, he's like, I don't want to go. Yeah, because I felt like a sissy. And you would have told everybody that I got a pedicure, it's even though maybe that would have felt good. <laughs> I think it's even more of a sissy to stay to in bed. get the <laughs> pedicure. I don't uh, want to go. He, he's not going. Okay, yeah. I didn't <laughs> want to get the pedicure today. Would you get a pedicure you shouldn't be Casey. forced to have a pedicure if you don't he want to. He wanted to. He was like, I was like, do you want, I'm going to book an appointment. Do you want to go with me? He's like, yeah, book me one. And this morning he's like, I don't want to go. Well, yeah, you know. It's cold and wet outside. Customer is always right. <laughs> it was fun. He would have had fun. And what is that color you got on your fingernails? Coral. Coral. Coral, Coral reef. reef. Coral. So you got a manicure? Coral. Yeah. Coral. 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 It's a nice thing to do Coral. for yourself. Yeah, my grandfather's name was Carl. Carl <laughs> Reef. Coral Montgomery. Coral. <laughs> Coral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what is a cow like? Is that literally a cow that l- would lick somebody's head back in Gaelic times or whatever? And then it would. And then it Gaelic? Would... More like cow lick. Cowlick times. Maybe a yeah. gay cow lick. But what? It would lick your head and then it would make your hair look like it was going straight up because of the yeah, stuff in just... the cow's mouth. Ha- Hans, crazy. will you do your gay cow impression? Gay cow. Nah. Yeah. She's kind of timid. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, she's going out to the pasture for the first time. Nah. Ooh. Out of the barn into the pasture. <laughs> Gay cow on TBS. <laughs> out of the barn into the pasture. That would be the good catchphrase for it. Yep, right after Tacoma FD. <laughs> <laughs> great show. Oh, that's who I did the ketamine with the one time. That guy's on that show, I think. 
Oh, yeah. oh my god. The dude who Our was... national heroes. I'm not gonna say that. Yeah. Yeah, national heroes, firemen. <laughs> god, those police in Memphis just beat up somebody and killed them. Did you all hear about that? Nope. Yeah. But it was, was he on fire? No, they just pulled him over. They were like, hey. They killed him. Let's uh maybe we should invest in punching bags for the police. It could be good because they're always punching and kicking people and yeah. If he was on fire, maybe they're just trying to help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They gotta stomp him out. Stop, drop, and roll. God, there was a horrible Facebook live stream a couple years ago. Somebody who went inside of a bar in Memphis, there was some girl in there who he liked who she didn't like him back. And he it shows him from his live stream on his telephone walking into a bar. But before he goes into the bar, you hear this weird liquidy noise and you're like, What's that? And then uh <laughs> And then I he goes in there, is. oh my gosh, and he lit his ass on fire. What? That's probably not the best way to impress a female, I would think. And then you're not going to be yeah. able to impress anybody else because you're going to be... He lit himself on fire? Yeah. Whoa. And then you hear, like, screaming and the phone's on the That's ground, hilarious. I think. Can you believe that? All those people doing that crazy shit on the Facebook Lives. Yikes. I had one of those GoPros. Yeah. his head. I know that would be a good one. <laughs> or he could have had a drone. You were messing with your drone out there, Hans. I know. Can you do a something with the drone where it follows you? Yes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, if you want to set yourself on fire, it's the perfect tool. Yeah, ISIS, I don't know if you've seen some of these execution videos, but they have real good drone shots. <laughs> you know, when it's all going down. Yeah. And it's like 4K, and it'll be like, whatever. And then it's like cool swooping, like looks like Paul Thomas Anderson, like great cinematography. And it's like at a lake and they're all in a steel cage. Yeah. The steel cage is going underwater. That was one I saw. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. They're training for getting waterboarded. <laughs> and also for making uh, some films over there, I think. I think in the next 20 to 30 years, there's going to be a big influx of films made from over there. Just from the people getting good at the... From ISIS-based filmmakers? Yeah. ISIS-based filmmakers. Mark mark my words. You heard it here on the podcast. 30, 20, 30 mm -hmm. years, there's going to be an influx of really influential cinema coming out of Afghanistan. It's like Avatar, but from the Middle Eastern perspective. Yes. Yes. Everybody's... Well, I don't know. I never saw Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I, is this like a background that exists yeah, already? Yeah. Did yeah. you make that? It's or? like a drone and ISIS? Or is this like... Just just whipped it up. Whipped it up. Yeah, Grant, how's that going? And how's Mike teaching the new person back there? Because I've been able to hear his conversation throughout this entire time already. <laughs> So are they getting out? Is she learning everything or? Yeah. Training's going great. How uh, has she that's been? That's not has picking she... up on the mic, I don't think. So. Well, I heard something back there. <laughs> well, just now. <laughs> well, whenever I have to unmute. It's going well. Going very well. Has have has she been doing good? Have you caught her stealing anything? Is she maybe the person who's throwing bricks in the businesses around here? No, as far as I know, it's not. Okay. It was cool. someone with a drone. That's all I know. No. -uh. <laughs> was it you? Huh? It wasn't. There's no. I way. like to record it, <laughs> like my Middle Eastern brothers. <laughs> you train the drone to throw a brick. <laughs> brutal. That would be brutal. God, I was with Duncan this weekend, and he had this insane AI thing on his phone. You had to get like on a Discord. It was like it was kind of complicated, but probably very doable. But he wrote in it. Tell a write a joke about ghosts in the voice of Jerry Seinfeld, and this thing pops back like in five seconds, and it's like the weirdest. <laughs> it's nothing he's ever said, I assume, but it literally sounded like Jerry Seinfeld. Kind of funny. I mean, if you read it in his voice, it's kind of funny. <sighs> it's so weird. It was, so it's a ghost doing Jerry Seinfeld. It's Jerry Seinfeld doing a joke about ghosts. Oh, okay. It <laughs> was so weird. And he could do like do a poem about like through the perspective of what are but I could we could become poets now. <laughs> we could start going to the open mic poetry readings and just type in something on the thing and then act like it's ours. That's all crazy. It was a little weird. I was thinking, are people gonna 
could you come start coming up with jokes through the via the AI? Yeah. I don't know. It can seems we, strange. We don't even have to think anymore. We can just do the computer. The computer's my personality. Give the coordinates to the computer. Yeah, it's hard to have a personality. I'd rather outsource it to a, a computer or an Indian man. Tell me about it, Hans. I didn't want to fucking wake up this morning. <laughs> yeah, just have the chat GPT go to get a manicure. Oh my God. <coughs> this feels amazing. <laughs> what, what are you going to school for? Yeah, <laughs> like just making small talk. <laughs> what are you saying in your language? <laughs> They're going to end up getting, they're going to take us over, I think. I think it's going to be scary. We'll see, though. Yeah, we just have to uh, <laughs> teach them how to treat homeless people better than us, and then it'll be a net positive. It will be. God, the guy by our, the Target where we live, he has been having all of his stuff posted up in the Target parking lot. Oh, what, I what does he look said... like? I think this is an older man. I think this is an older guy. God, I saw there's this one guy who walks around, some big looking guy. It looks like he used to play football or something. Like it's a, like huge, strong looking dude just walking all around. And I was looking God. and he was like, I was driving past and he was kind of hobbling around and I looked and he didn't have any shoes on. And one of his feet, the one foot that was up, I looked closer and there's a giant piece of glass coming out of his foot. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I know. I felt horrible. What is? What do you do? Wow. That's hard to play football like that. It would be hard. And also to just, yeah, be probably grimy, probably yeah, grungy living under. Infect, infected. Infected. I, hopefully I keep seeing him around. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't die. I've been to that Target. I gave a guy, I saw that old guy. I think I gave him a dollar. He got a beard. Oh, did you? Yes. Yeah, he got a beard. Yeah, every now and again, I'll give somebody a little money. Whoa, hold on. What is that one called? <laughs> Take it easy. When I, wear oh. this, when, I, <laughs> when I wear this really big shirt on the camera, it kind of looks like uh, this is like all like green screen. When I do that, it looks like maybe it doesn't. I love it. Yes, it does. It does. does. Whatever. You're it's doing stupid. great. It's, it's dumb. We all love it. And who is that? Robbie Gordon, number seven? Number seven, Robbie Gordon. Fastest fastest truck. Fastest truck in the East. Fastest truck today. That's (laughs) something fucking Lucy would do to Charlie Brown. She put a damn... He got to kick the football. She put a big piece of glass there, so he kicked that. (laughs) So rude. Or I was thinking if she was buddies with Robbie Gordon, she'd put, like, something on his gas pedal so he couldn't hit the brakes or, like, his NASCAR would go really fast and he couldn't stop. (laughs) She'd tie it down. Yeah. She's bad. She belongs in prison. I hope Lucy's in the sky with no diamonds. Yeah. Hope she has a lump of coal up there. (laughs) What was the license thing we saw? What was the thing we saw in the back of the car literally two minutes before we got here? It was, like... Something about how... uh, Hell is, Hell's already full. They're here. Yeah, hell's already full, so the demons are already here Devil's or here something. Or something. Ooh. It remember. was some old <laughs> woman with the hearing aid, like some old lady driving the car. He's like, fuck everybody. I'm going to die soon anyways. Another one was like, life's too short. Don't be a dick. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking. Well, how would I some... not be a dick if there are demons on earth? <laughs> Yeah, if there's confused. demons they didn't match, really. Maybe that's why you had such a hard time getting up, is all the demons. <laughs> They're here. <laughs> Hell is empty and all the devils are here. It was that. Well, who said, who? Yeah, who said that's from the Shakespeare. The Shakespeare. Tempest. Oh, uh, see, we want uh, Spock's Shakespeare. That's yeah. art. Oh, maybe she was like a poet. Maybe she is one of these people getting in the AI <laughs> acting like it's her poetry. Yeah, you know, all those poets with bumper stickers. They're always expressing random phrases for no reason with no Did purpose. Shakespeare also do life's too short, don't be a dick. <laughs> he might have. That was the other one on there. Don't be a spotted dick. I remember I did go to some poetry open mic one night. But I didn't go on. It was after I moved back from New York. I was like right I'd get all drunk in New York and then write all that. I was reading a lot of Bukowski. <laughs> and I'd write like in oh a similar God. thing with like out any <laughs> With just, it's like the short sentences, just how it visually looks. I would write, and I went one night and I didn't end up going on. 
and I just went to go see a movie. I just went by myself. <laughs> it's just like kind of a weird open mic because I've been to a bunch of comedy open mics, but I've never been to a poetry reading open mic. Yeah, vibes are different. <laughs> it was different vibes for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's more a chill, more like we're not going to come ever. There's no yeah. release, no ecstasy. It's just prolonged holding blue balls. I know, it's kind of weird. Nobody's laughing. It's just somebody up there talking because I'm pretty used to just people. Except for you. You're in the corner just howling. <laughs> yeah, just uh, <laughs> like in... <gasps> no. Today is not my day. Castle and napkin. Do you need a towel? No, I'm totally fine. Dinosaur And napkin. thank you, Casey. Yeah, the dinosaur napkins. Do you see well, this? Uh, today is not my day. That Shakespeare said that too. <laughs> Today ain't my day. Give me another glass of wine. That's Shakespeare. <laughs> Corinthians 12. <laughs> Give me another glass of wine. <laughs> Give me another glass of vino. <laughs> that is Shakespeare. That is Shakespeare. Yes, I remember that. Forsooth. Forsooth. Have you ever had vino in the morning, in the morning time, Hans? No, I'd love to though. Yum. Are we doing it? I know, sadly, uh, there wasn't any alcohol here today. There I know. is alcohol. Grant might have had it. Are there, are work. you guys holding out? I bet the new girl's drinking it all. Yeah, she's I been bet popping she's, tops. She's is that strong. what's going on, Grant? He that is left. true. Yeah. That quote is true. I, sorry, I was busy typing up the, that sweet quote for you. Today <laughs> is my not my day. Give me another glass of wine. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he centered it. <laughs> Senator it made it look look a little better. Can you put it like right above me? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's centered on the screen, is it? Mm -mm. Unprofessional. Casey, how was LA? What weren't you there this past week? Yeah, I went out there to do roast battle. Yeah, how was the roast battle? How did it end up going? You had one of the roasts prepared when we last saw each other, so you yeah. got a couple more down. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I roasted her ass to pieces. I won the battle. No big deal. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Love it. Humble brag. ATX, baby. ATX, cash and checks. <laughs> <laughs> it was big fun. <laughs> how was? How did it ultimately go? What was the ultimate score of the L.A. versus Austin roast battle? It was two and two. So uh, I won. Mike Eaton won the main event. Then Darian lost, but he should have won. And then Adam Lucky lost too. So it was just two and two. What happened with Darian? I don't know. For some reason, they voted for the other girl. Some home cooking. Yeah. Some Rick. politics. Yeah. <laughs> What was one of the jokes? What did uh, what did they say against Daria? Do you remember anything? Um, like you're so big or something? <laughs> like stuff about being real big, damn, bitch. <laughs> damn, damn you, you real big. big <laughs> this big old bitch. <laughs> Everyone's just sitting there silent. <laughs> and then the person wins. Yeah, that's and they won. Bullshit. He had some really funny ones. He said she was Middle Eastern. And he said. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh. He said Are you shooting your He said she's so ugly they let her drive Like <laughs> she looked like a boy He said Iran has to be stopped Look what they did to her face <laughs> Is he ugly It was funny he did a bunch of funny stuff That's funny It's funnier when he does it Yeah it's funny because we want to go to war with Iran But not because of her ugly face But for other reasons Other uh, geopolitical Socioeconomic forum. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like yeah. to give a shout out to the Kalanis. Those were our neighbors growing up. They were from Iran, but they Kalanis. migrated to America at some point. Kalanis. Asgard Kalani. He actually did a facelift Asgard. on Elvis. Yeah. What? A... He did a facelift Whoa. on Elvis one time. Yeah. He's a P surgeon, plastic surgeon. He was a plastic surgeon. Yeah. I remember I'd go in their house. My brother and I would go in their house because their older son, Kenneth, who was already like in high school, he had a, a uh, Nintendo, and we'd go play Nintendo up in his room sometimes. An Iranian Nintendo. Yeah, it was very cool. We'd go play that, and the house would always smell like spices. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember it was real spicy smelling in there. Yeah. Do they have rugs? A bunch of oriental rugs, yes. Nice. I know, those are cool. Nintendo. Playing Nintendo up in Kenneth's room, and then... A family ended up moving in with a bad dog, and then the dog bit my brother Selden, and then they were 
cut the dog's head off and then Whoa. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> is that Iranian thing? Were no, they... it was like the dog was already having problems and after that happened they ended up putting it down, but then they they were gonna test it for rabies, even though it wouldn't have had that, but the refrigerator <laughs> at the place where you keep dog heads went out and then uh so oh, they couldn't test it, it for rabies. So they just kept the head. So they just kept the head, yeah. In the house, like a deer head, like mounted like a <laughs> No way. No, that would be crazy. That was a warning to <laughs> other scary. Don't, too don't scary. bite white people. This is what happens. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Why don't they do that, I wonder, with dogs? Just because we Cause like dogs horrible. so much? Yes. Yeah, because it sounds crazy. Why don't we do that with humans? Just your grandma's head sticking out of the fireplace. <laughs> this is what happens if you get old. <laughs> Just peeking out of the pi- fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be scary. Morning, boys. <laughs> <laughs> she talks like one of those sea- yeah. the bass, the singing bass. Yeah, the big mouth Billy bass. <laughs> oh, yeah, that must have been everywhere in Memphis. <laughs> yes, it was totally everywhere for sure. Was it around where you were? Nope. Y'all didn't have a lot of Big Mouth Billy Basses? No, we had a lot of uh, Al Gore posters and oh, yeah. Obama. Al Gore invented the internet, didn't he? Mm, he helped invent it. He did? That was Best Gore. Best Gore invented oh, the internet. Oh, Best Gore, that was, that was the internet back in the day. <laughs> You could see all kinds of ISIS videos <laughs> on that motherfucker. <laughs> Best score. And don't go to White House back in the day. Whitehouse.com. That was a porn site. <laughs> do y'all remember that? No, we would go at school. Whitehouse.com. Whitehouse.com. Porn. There's it's a white from all the cum. Uh, I, I, I got one. I'll tell you one of my roasts that I said. Yeah, yeah. What were your roasts? I'll tell you one of them. Okay. Just one. Okay. Uh, as many of you know, Kiki is a habitual liar and serial con man. Uh, <laughs> Kiki told me all kinds of lies. She said that her mom is a Latin Jew from Argentina and her dad is a Danish man from Italy. Kiki, the only thing more crooked than your backstory is your literal back story. Because she got scoliosis. Oh, my God. Uh, scoliosis. Crooked back. <laughs> I love how happy <laughs> You got <laughs> diagnosing this woman. <laughs> she has <got> <laughs> Yeah, you oh, should be yeah. a doctor with that kind of bedside man. <laughs> Are her parents literally from those places? Yeah, or was made up? no, oh, yeah, okay, she okay. told me that, and then yeah, and I had my damn doctor shirt on, so she got taken to the freaking roast clinic. Yeah, oh, <laughs> poor, poor bastard. Yeah, damn. terminal. Does she have a uh, terminal. Terminal. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. This is malignant. <laughs> Did she actually have scoliosis? Yeah, she told me that she got a crooked ass spine. So I go, hmm, think I'm going to talk about that. That's <laughs> wonderful. I didn't know if that was just a totally made up thing. That makes it even better that she told you she had scoliosis. Yeah. Got her. Devil in the White City, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled. <laughs> devil in the White City. <laughs> I read that book. You did? Is that a Shakespeare? Devil but, in the White City? H.H. So. H. Holmes, I think. Oh, yeah. H.H. Yeah. H. Holmes, the Dracula guy. Didn't yeah. he do Dracula and love dead and loving it? In Chicago. The funny one. <laughs> Wasn't that the funny <laughs> one with what's his <laughs> Did I just uh, totally make that up? You mean young Frankenstein? Uh, no, I think there's a Dracula dead and loving it. Grant. Is there Grant? <laughs> Grant, why are you so scary demon? What's yeah, what's the anything? demon? <laughs> you guys are talking about the devil. Yeah, they're on they're Where on Earth. <laughs> they're not in hell anymore. They're all here. They're yeah. All here. Is it Dracula dead and loving it? Yeah, Is that it's like a Leslie Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen yeah, movie. Leslie Nielsen. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Did you all used to think his movies were funny? Did you ever watch those movies oh, growing up? Yeah. I thought they were too dumb. They're real dumb. I what is that them. kind of comedy called? Like slapstick. Is that slapstick? Yeah, is that like slapstick <laughs> comedy? The Naked Gun 2 is one of the funniest movies ever made. The Naked Gun 2 is hilarious. I like that one. Make me laugh. I should watch that again. I haven't seen him in a while. It's good. <laughs> Here he is, it's Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> he is such a funny older... We don't make those anymore. Where are they at? All these old people are so serious nowadays. Maybe yeah, I hear like you. Just like Martin Short. Yeah. He was in the, that show. The show that we were watching? Mm-hmm. All the murders in the building? All murders, the murders in the building. Yeah. Uh, all the mur- murders in that apartment. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a bunch in there. <laughs> was there? I, seen I think they yeah. made a show out of William's video game. Yeah, we started watching it. The Last of Us. 
I heard about it. Mushroom. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's your video game? That's his game. Yes. He made it. Is that what you're doing every night when you're not hanging out with me? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I started playing Ghost of Tsushima again. I have it been. There's a good game coming out on the 27th that I'll probably get. Dead Space. A scary zombie space game. What do you It was do? like a PlayStation 2 game. Uh, I don't know. I never played uh, the PlayStation 2 game. But this show is pretty good. I enjoyed the show. It's just like the video game. Aww. Are y'all going to kiss? I want to. That's Joel. Get him. Oh, oh my god! I thought I was maybe going to trick you into actually. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to trick delay. you. Uh, did you put a delay in this? Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to fuck us up right now? What? He knows what he's doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the show's pretty good. It's just like the video game, which is kind of silly. Don't they do scene for scene, like, recreations and stuff of certain yeah, parts? Yeah, they check yes. the drawers just like the video game. Oh, yeah, cool. Erica would walk in the room, and I would just be checking all the drawers <laughs> in all of the abandoned buildings, and there's tons of abandoned buildings. I was... I mean, <laughs> How did they check the drawers? Oh, What's in there? Like, Man, you can get all kinds of things. You can get things to craft weapons. You can make silencers. You can make sticky bombs. You can make pipe bombs. You have to go through the drawers, though. So it's really good if you've taken a little Adderall. I'm kidding. Because <laughs> then you really go through all the drawers. Yeah, the drawers in your head. Yeah, and then you're like, hold on. Have I, gone, have I been in this room before? Have I gone through these drawers? And then you end up going through drawers in a house for two hours. <laughs> it's just a like a chore. House. All these video games are like, like errands. I know. They're not like how they used to be up in Kenneth's room. They're not at all. The simple Nintendo games. They got more Smelling complicated. mayonnaise instead of spices. Smelling mayonnaise in Kenneth's room. <laughs> <laughs> Snorting. Are you guys doing lines of mayo again? He used to help my dad be Santa Claus. How did he do that? He'd come over on Christmas Eve and they put little presents down by the fireplace. Your dad's a very, very uh, slender, fit man. Santa Claus. Santa. Santa. <laughs> we love Santa. Santa used to be. Yeah, Santa used to be like that. Back in the day. Before yeah, Santa, high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, Santa used to be like that. Yeah, he was always doing triathlons and shit growing up. Whoa, look at Santa. That's him seeing an ISIS video. With all the guys <laughs> getting slowly lowered oh? into the... Oh. Talk well, about going on the naughty list. <laughs> yeah, they're not getting pressed. <laughs> they're not getting anything. I guess we're going to have to make more coal. <laughs> yeah. Santa Big fucking, time. He would, oh, he would drone strike their ass in a heartbeat. Santa does <laughs> stuff like that. He would, I was wondering that yeah. when I was watching the drone racing mm -hmm. on whatever television channel on Saturday like morning, uh, if they work for the U.S. government for like their army division. Probably. Yeah, have for you seen drones. those videos from Ukraine? What, drone drones. strike videos? Yeah, drones are the shit. That's you see him like dropping grenades. I know. And you see like a grenade slowly <laughs> and falling on a just hole. Sitting, and it never really kills them right away. They're like, oh, fuck. And they like roll away <laughs> and then they die, I'm guessing. Yeah, that would probably suck. Oh my gosh, I randomly read there was some Navy SEAL that went AWOL, I think is the term, and he was fighting for Ukraine and they the Russians just killed him the other day. He left Isn't America to go fight for Ukraine. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Robert Kennedy's grandson just went over and fought for Ukraine for like the summer. I was reading an article about for the it. summer. <laughs> JFK's. He did. He he said he took off work. He had like an internship, and he told his dad. He was like, "Hey, don't ask where I'm going. I'll be back in a couple months." And he went over to Ukraine, and he was a machine machine gunner on a tank. It was pretty. Cool. Oh my gosh, yeah. that JFK's seems crazy. Yeah. Would you ever go over there, Hans, and fight for Ukraine? Yes. Yes. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I need, yeah. I need a purpose in my life. You think going to war could give you that? Bring yeah, it, it'd bring me closer to somebody that I don't know now, but I'm sure they're great guys. And you know. Oh, right, like your fighting teammates. Yes. My, <laughs> or what do you call them? Your squadron or <laughs> comrades. My your comrades. Veterans. My future <laughs> veterans. <laughs> this is the last year I can join the Marines. I'm 28. That's the, that's the limit. You thinking about it? I got like 11 months to join the Marine Corps. <laughs> Are you gonna, you do gonna do it? I don't know if I can. I don't know. I have a criminal record. I don't think you can if you have a criminal record. Yeah, I don't know if you can. 
But really, I probably can't get Ukraine. A ton- they probably don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh right. Yeah. I know. I remember when I get all fucked up, I would look at like the cutoff for joining the Navy SEALs. Is <laughs> <laughs> it the same fucking? Like thing. it was exact same thing. <laughs> like it was any kind of fucking. Because if you're saying not for you, but for me, I mean, it was God. It was insanity. It's like but I would really do that. At least somebody wants God. me. Somebody can use this hunk of meat. Exactly. <laughs> Man, so you never saw that ISIS video. They slowly are dunking these dudes down in this metal Are they like thing. prisoners, or are they their guys that they're training to be they're better? They're prisoners. Oh, that's a horrible way to kill someone. Yeah, drowning. Ugh. Yeah, just breathing in water. Sucking in water. <laughs> yeah, no good. Probably start yeah. hiccuping for a second, and then it's just over. Hiccuping. <laughs> yeah, you That'd see. be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> the hiccups. Yeah, you start hiccuping a little. Can't even tell people, I'm not usually like this. Yeah, when y'all are <laughs> wet and the thing's going down, I am so sorry. I'm not normally hiccuping like this. It's the water, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the salt water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's like, what's that noise? Who's doing that? <laughs> normally, I'm not so stressed out. I'm really laid back on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, don't go over to Ukraine, though. No, yeah. Please. Yeah. Um, if they take over Ukraine, it really does not affect my life. Yeah, I don't even really can't just looking at the map, it seems like Russia would be able to beat Ukraine. It's a much bigger <laughs> thing yeah, of land. Know. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like playing it's risk. Land. It's, it's like, like continents colliding with each other. Yeah. What if you think it like Germany was super small? Like the uh, how was Germany able to wage war on the world? Oh right. They're, Germany's twice. a super small country. Yeah, they did it damn twice. Yeah. World War One. all quiet on the Western Front. Make everybody quiet, cry when they watch. We have not seen it yet. Have you seen that one? No. Nominated they for did a picture. remake. Yeah, Nominated it's real for best set. picture. Oh, is it? Uh-oh. It's up. The news is out. It's the screenplay, <laughs> best screenplay, and the best picture is nominated. More like all crying on the Western Front. That movie's a tearjerker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. You need it. You haven't seen The Whale, have you? No, I haven't. Did you see it? Not yet. Are y'all going to ever see it? <laughs> <laughs> we should watch it. We'll watch it. It was sad. I do think James Corden should have been the whale, though. He was up for it. I know. That's yeah, what I heard. All that. Really? I randomly watched, uh, like, Friday night or something. The I just hadn't seen any of those late night shows recently. Kind of interesting to watch. James Corden and then the guy who was on before him. Just kind of interesting. I just hadn't seen a late night show yeah. in a long time. Who was before Nobody him? has TV. Adam Carolla. No, Seth uh, Myers. No, uh, Jimmy Fallon. Craig Ferguson. No, no, Jimmy Kimmel. No, Dave Schultz. Stephen Colbert. Stephen Colbert. Dave Thomas. That was the Dave last. Dave Thomas, guy. the Wendy's guy. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Schultz, I think, was the was the wrestler who got killed in uh, Foxcatcher. The movie was Steve Carell. <laughs> Just a deep cut. <laughs> Just a deep yeah, cut reference, is. guys. <laughs> that was a crazy movie. It was crazy. Because I was thinking, like, if they did something like this for a comedy, I would definitely be shot right now <laughs> in a driveway somewhere. Like, we all live in, like, an open mic, like, <laughs> like <laughs> mansion or something. Yeah, there's a comedy club, and we're all just doing a writer's workshop for each other. <laughs> what is Foxcatcher? <laughs> it's a guy who's the uh, heir to DuPont, so he's super rich, and he just decided, I'm going to sponsor American wrestlers. And he just, like paid all their salaries, had state-of-the-art gym, and then all of a sudden he got jealous and mad and weird about it, and then he shot the top guy, and then the whole thing collapsed. Yeah. And Steve Carell, Channing Tatis, Mark Ruffalo. (laughs) (laughs) All of them? The whole? Yeah. It's a great movie. It's Foxcatcher. Is it based on a true story? Yeah, it's all a true story. Oh, the guy killed the best person there? Yeah. Yeah. Dave Schultz. Dave Schultz, rest in peace. It's great. There's a Netflix documentary and the movie. We'll watch it later. <laughs> Is the movie yeah. on Netflix? Yeah. Ooh. That's him. Channing Taman. Channing Taman. Channing Taman. <laughs> Shaman Tatum. <laughs> Shaman, Shaman, Shaman Taters. <laughs> They're going out the new magic mic. Are y'all excited? <laughs> no. Doing the move. No, he's a no. Yeah, he's doing the Mulan Rouge. <laughs> what? <Yeah>. In Magic <laughs> Mike? Chore- choreographing the, the Paris Mulan Rouge. Yeah. 
Oh, Is this okay. true? Yeah. Yeah, it's a new magic mic. <laughs> magic that makes mic me like five. him better because <laughs> I just think he's like a dumb meathead. But if he's like doing like art stuff, then it's like, wow, he has depth. <laughs> yeah, AKA he he's, he's gay. Stripper. Now he's choreographing <clears throat> the Moulin Rouge. Yeah. Yeah, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a big wrestler guy who's in some movies now. What is that? Tistis. Yeah. Yeah, did y'all see the preview for that M. Night Shyamalan movie? Uh, With the Asian child? He talks oh, just yeah. like the No Country for Old Men guy. Anton Sugar. He sounds yeah. just like, if y'all watch it again and think about it, he's, it sounds just like Anton Sugar from No Country for Old Men, how he's talking. Well, Very weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is that how he normally sounds? I don't know. Look at the face Channing Tatum's making. Like, <laughs> girl? <laughs> yeah, girls, <laughs> girls, <laughs> boys, <laughs> boys too. <laughs> he knows the simple pleasures of life. It was always fun the SNL uh, sketch with Chris Farley and what's his name when they're in Chippendales. Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze. Everybody's working for the weekend. We have to TT. All righty, we have a very new, very special, very sensuous uh, sponsor. If you are a person who's maybe older in age or maybe you uh, got in a bad rollerblading crash such as myself when I was young and I hit my thing and balls really hard on this <laughs> edge of a concrete thing and I it was a long, long medical journey after that, but my thing doesn't really work anymore. <laughs> so luckily, I was able to find something called RexMD where you get your Viagra and Cialis pills. Trying to get a hard penis. My, yeah, I mean, I need to have sex with my hand or another person, and the only way that happens is with a pill that makes my penis hard. Yeah, Viagra is good, and um, and then so RexMD can give you that. And then act now to take advantage of their best deal yet by heading to rexmd.com slash WMS. Our exclusive deal will save you up to 90% off or you only pay $2 a pill. That's like almost free. I would just start taking those pills just to have fun. Yeah, just to get At through that, the day. A pill that cheap. Yep. Holy shit. Pop it and forget it. Set it and forget it. Your dick is hard. Just don't wear sweatpants. Have a good day. Yeah, <laughs> just don't wear sweatpants at the Target <laughs> with a Cialis inside of you because your penis, people will see your penis <laughs> over, coming through your sweatpants. Over 300,000 men can't be wrong. They're all reporting fantastic results with, with Rex MD. Starter packs of generic Viagra or Cialis are now available for our listeners to get started. That's RexMD.com slash WMS for up to 90% off. Give the gift of pleasure with RexMD. Valentine's is coming. Valentine's is coming mm -hmm. up. and It's been a while. They I've, can give you all kinds of stuff at RexMD. in a heartbeat if that's the case. Yeah, it's not only <laughs> penis stuff. It's sleep aids. It's hair stuff. I mean, I'm about to get on it because I'm looking more like a monster every day. You're, I'm about to come back in five months and have a full head of hair. So that's from RexMD. And a hard dick. And a hard, <laughs> hard penis <laughs> after my rollerblading and accident. And a big heart. <laughs> And a really big heart, literally, because I was on amphetamines for most of my life. So I literally have a big heart right now. So. It's enlarged. It's enlarged, yeah. It's, I think they call it an enlarged heart. That's a medical term. With Rex MD, the prices are so damn low. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're $2 a freaking pill. Uh, but yeah, Rex MD, use code WMS, get that discount. I was in Madison, Wisconsin, uh... This weekend, I went to Chris Farley's grave, but the fucking mausoleum was locked. So I just took a picture of the mausole mausoleum. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to go see his grave. I did, wasn't able to see it. Man, Madison seemed like a dreary place. The lift guy was saying it's it just is it's like Seattle, but freezing. Oh, wow. Like it's only gray and it's freezing all the time. Damn. The place was wonderful. I loved it up there. Yeah, comedy on state. Have you been there before? I Hans? have not. I've heard of how amazing it is. Man, it was really cool. Have you ever been up there, Casey? No, it's supposed to be awesome. Yeah, yeah and then the Ryer was opening up Cameraman? the shows. Yeah. I didn't know Ryer at all uh, when she was in Austin. Yeah. And I guess she just moved back to Wisconsin. She just moved back oh, last shit. week. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, she uh, was really like awesome. She like took the scene by storm. 
Everyone she was, was talking hilarious. About her. She was really yeah. nice. I really liked her. Yeah, she was hilarious. She, she got a good taste of Austin. She did all the things and then just bounced. I yeah, to dip out. She'd come back. Yeah. yeah, it sounded like maybe at some point. I loved her story. She Tony when she was on Kill Tony was like, "Why did you move here?" And she was like, "Well, I've been traveling around, and I came to Austin, and I bombed my ass off." And I was like, "Oh, let me see why that's happening." <laughs> that's why she moved here is because she, she bombed. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's just a funny story. And she joined a convent when she was eighteen or something. Really? And then didn't want to be a nun. Yeah, some Buddhist temple or something or. I don't know. It don't sounded know. wild. <clears throat> sounded wild. Uh, do you have a list for us? I do have a list. All right. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do this. Did you know he brought a list for you? <laughs> no. But He's I, like, I don't, I don't want to have to bring out this list I prepared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is going to get pretty spooky pretty quick. And we've been seriously. Talk- yeah, we've been talking about ghosts and stuff the whole Demons. damn podcast. Demonology, <laughs> ghost hauntology, semenology, semenology. <laughs> Grant, are you ready for this shit? I'm ready. You got it pulled up. <clears throat> Damn, brother, here goes nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. The top five most haunted locations in Davenport, Iowa. Whoa. (laughs) (laughs) It's about to get real scary in this little bitch. Number one, Mr. Carcass's Gulch. Throw it up, Grant. Show him that big gulch. In what a name? What Throwing a scary up the name already? One sec. <laughs> Mr. Carcass? <laughs> Mr. Carcass. That's like a creepy... <laughs> yeah. Just right off the bat. And there you it's go. A That's it. That's in Iowa? That's in Davenport, Davenport Iowa. Davenport, Iowa. You wouldn't think that. Whoa, Hodge, you're get falling into the gulch. Be careful. Uh, Hodge, a, get out of the gulch. If you fall into a gulch like that with Mr. Carcass around, you're not getting back out. Seriously? Seriously. What is that? Drag you? He keeps you in there? Dead honest. Well, I'll I'll tell you this. Nobody knows why Mr. Carcass started digging his gulch 10 years ago. But after it reached 100 meters, one day, Mr. Carcass was gone. And his shovel was the only thing left. Serious? Are people saying maybe he's still just in the gulch? He might just be lost in the gulch, surviving off water like 127 an hour. What? <laughs> With what's it's been name. like ten years. So. Casey Affleck, he was so good in that. Yes, and no, James it Frank, was James <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I can't believe he dug a hundred meters. How many miles is that? <laughs> it's like three hundred like miles. Three hundred miles. <laughs> hundred meters. It's a hundred meters deep, <laughs> and it's seven thousand meters long. He uh-huh. did that. He did that by himself with his stepson Josh. That's sweet that he and Josh got it back together because I think I had read an article. That's cool. That it's they good were, way to bond. They had a really yeah. bad falling out because Josh didn't want to uh, be a, an intern at the big company in town. His comp or was it his company? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was his company and it was haunted too. He should have hired Josh. He should have hired his son at that company. I mean, it's his company. He's fucking Davenport, Iowa. Yeah, it doesn't have to be an intern. He should have just been head of sales automatically. Ne- automatically. Nepotismus. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you get lost in that gulch. Have fun because it floods with water every 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of flash flooding. Yeah. Wow, that's rare for a desert. It is. But not, Davenport, not- Iowa is like a... It's a food desert, too, sometimes, I think. <laughs> it has yeah, a bunch of fast food places. Yeah, it's uh, ripe. Yeah. Is that what a food desert is? If a place just has a bunch of fast food places? Yeah. They don't grow their own food. They just get it on a truck from Mr. The guy that founded Wendy's. Dave fa- Thomas. Yeah, Dave Thomas. I found a wonderful, there's a wonderful subreddit called Took Too Much, mm-hmm. and it's people on drugs, and there's this one video where this guy's walking by a storm drain and he hears somebody singing Amazing Grace out of the storm drain and it's a man with a flashlight (laughs) in the fucking storm (laughs) drain. And he's like, what are you doing? And the guy's like, what are you doing? And then he says he's looking for an Allen wrench. And (laughs) I don't know how he got in there. Yeah, it's insane. Mr. Carcass. Mr. Carcass. Mr. Carcass. <laughs> Mr. Carcass. More like a fallen wrench. 
You know, yeah, tell, tell me him. about it. He's stuck in the gulch. Yeah, there's not anyone <laughs> rich in there. Damn. Number two, La Biblioteca de Muerta. So this is one of the most haunted bibliotecas in the entirety of Davenport. And somebody who doesn't speak Spanish, what does that mean? Haunted library? The library of death. A library <laughs> of death. <laughs> Like there's a cartoon character. Yes. In the corner. Is she haunted? That's Miss Stacy. She's oh, old, move your head, William. <laughs> she's the old librarian. Let me take a look at that ass. She's, Let me take a look at that Miss. They Stacey. got a perfect picture of her. They so she it. works there. She's haunting. She works there for eternity because she is a specter. Oh my God! Damn. Did she die in there? She died in there because a big copy of Infinite Jest fell on her head. That's a <laughs> big her. book. It's a big book. That yeah. happens to librarians sometimes. Books <laughs> fall on people. Yeah, it's a deadlier occupation. Than... That's actually what happened. Not a lot of people know this, but that's actually what took out, I think, a couple of people in Columbine. It's <laughs> yeah. the books falling when people Everyone, were running. All and... these liberals like to say it was the guns, but yeah, it's actually I mean, it was a couple of books. books. We should burn books. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, well. Book bomb. Damn. Keep guns out of school. Keep books out of school. Yeah, you should have guns to shoot school. the books. <laughs> yeah. So if it's falling on you, you can shoot it, and then it'll go back <laughs> into its <Yeah>. thing. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Close call. <laughs> and then that old lady will get mad at us, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't fire a semi-automatic <laughs> rifle. No Uzis in the libraries. As Grant has so kindly zoomed, you can see a specter even behind Miss Stacy, more transparent than ever. He's <laughs> 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 almost not there. The Who is that? That is that's Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually Mr. Kyle. Mr. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Mr. Kyle was known to go to the library every day, but he got sicker each time he walked through the doors. Mm. Until eventually he checked out for the last time. The in the library. <laughs> yeah, that's the type of book you can't return, the book of life. Mm -mm. I wonder what he was allergic to inside of the library. Yeah, maybe dust mites. Dust mites or, yeah. God, Mr. Kyle. Mr. Kyle, we I like miss how you. these people's last names are first names. <laughs> 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 They're like just like nice adults, so... So it's Mr. Kyle, Mrs. Stacy. So if somebody is around Davenport, Iowa, can we, they go visit them? Are they still at the Muerte de la Biblioteca? Yeah, they're still at la Biblioteca de la Biblioteca. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they will be for the foreseeable future. Mm, very scary. Number three. Ready, Grant? Damn. This one might make you guys feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. It's getting too comfortable. The Coldstone Crematorium. Oh. So, oh my God. It's an old twist on a classic. An old oh. twist on a classic treat. Yeah. <laughs> the Coldstone Crematorium. This, <laughs> this is um, it's where libelous. It could be, except that this location closed 25 years ago. Then who's sticking out the window serving ice cream? <laughs> yeah. Have they figured out who it is? <laughs> is it Ghost? <laughs> I can't believe there's a Cold Stone crematorium. I know. How did that even get zoned in for <laughs> compliance? How is that even a... Sounds like a health hazard. It sounds like it, but it definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, at night they say if you drive by at exactly 3.33 and, oh no. and stick out a thumb like a hitchhiker, mm -hmm. a, a cold hand will exit the, the <laughs> stall, the bathroom stall, and hand you a big cup of cream, but don't eat it, Okay, <laughs> or you'll be stuck there for overnight. Mm. <laughs> overnight. <laughs> Just uh, till the morning. <laughs> That's well, that's hard to do because that Cold Stone Creamery, that ice cream can be really good. What do you do? Mix really stuff good. in? That's a hard job. Yeah, it's hard to. Yeah. That's what the specter arms are doing in <laughs> the bathroom. <laughs> does the ghost still sing if you tip? If you tip, they will sing. Yeah. Still, oh, good. Is but, that what happens here? Uh -huh. The song gets scarier every time <laughs> you listen. <laughs> it's like Mad World from Donnie Darko. 
God, we had some tape <laughs> that we would play around Halloween, and it was like scary Halloween sounds, and we would just go sit downstairs and listen to it sometimes, but it was just like doors creaking and ladies <laughs> screaming. There wasn't any music. It was just like scary. It's been off the whole time. That was just the Iranians. Uh, way ahead of you. Dumping Halloween the spooks. people in that fucking watery grave. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, that's ISIS. Those, yeah, are, the, that's those are the Shiites. Yeah. That's a different deal. I wonder it if is. they have cold stones over there. And they have Middle marble East. slabs. <laughs> oh yeah, marble slabs. Same concept. Probably at their palaces. Because <laughs> you did, yeah, marble slabs. Aren't there marble. palaces? The marble slabbery. Sorry. <laughs> marble slabbery. Uh, the cold stone slabbery. <laughs> <laughs> brutal. <laughs> that is brutal. I cannot <laughs> believe all these places are in Davenport. I know. It's How big a... of a city is Davenport? It's not even that big. I, I don't think. think it's that big. I want to go. Lots going on over there. I know. It'd be fun to visit the Let's sweet see. lady at the library. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no real way to tell where it is because I Googled it and it didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's where the university is, the Hawkeyes. It people has they are. 101,000 people. And there was 101 Dalmatians with Corella DeVille, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> 1,000 people. <laughs> the puppies are wearing coats made out of 1,000 humans. No. Yeah, could you believe it when those three puppies would oh. get together and put a coat on and it looked like a person? <laughs> that happened in 101 down. I, I think so. That. It makes me want to vomit. Three puppies in a trench coat. And finally, <laughs> number four. And then there's a number five, too. Number, <laughs> number four. Who could forget possibly the single most haunted attraction in Davenport? Rachel Wilson's lunatic carousel. So <laughs> the lunatic carousel. This is just a recreation <laughs> of the actual. I was gonna say, is that a toy? That's it's very ableist language. <laughs> it's a recreation because the real carousel will scare your shit off. Really? Scare your shit off. Right off of your skin. Does it spin really fast, or is just scary stuff in the carousel? Both. The poles are made uh, of bones. The poles are made of bones, and the top is a skeleton head. Shit. This How is, is this even allowed? How are they zoning for this stuff in Davenport? <laughs> How is this allowed? Is this that guy's company zoning for all this stuff? It's like he's in charge of all this. Yeah, maybe it's Mr. Kyle. Maybe Mr. <laughs> Kyle has done this, and he died in the library as a sort of penance for his wicked it's ways. And, and then he was buddies with, what's his name? What was it? Mr. The Gulch? Mr. Carcass. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Carcass. Mr. Carcass has to be. It's probably his company involved is somehow. Is that the mayor? Merry go around, more like scary go around. <laughs> yeah, get me off this thing. <laughs> From all indication, yeah, doesn't end. It's very scary. And what was her fucking name? Yeah, Rachel what was Wilson? Her name? She was just a measly carnival worker trying to work her way through nail salon school, but <laughs> she got her shirt got caught in the carousel and she got ripped into a hundred tatters. And that's not to be confused with the lady who's the television chef. Rachel Wilson. Yeah, Rachel Wilson. I think she was a <laughs> popular on the Food Network. But it's not her. No, it's not her. Yeah. Completely unrelated. That's so weird they have the same name. She was such a good chef on the <laughs> Food <laughs> Network. <laughs> yeah, she would do like barefoot stuff. It was like... She would yeah. do $100 meals. Yeah, I think she did $100 <laughs> meals. She did $25 meals. That doesn't seem very helpful. Hundred dollar meals, yeah, it's <laughs> really <laughs> expensive. Meals. We need to do a rest in peace to the Waffler sixty nine. He's some dude we would watch on YouTube who would make food TikTok. from the dot or TikTok from the dollar Remember store. Him? The guy that just died. I don't know. He would do all all kinds of he has bullshit. The dentures and the curly hair. Yeah, and he need nasty stuff. Oh, yeah. Erica told me I was like, well, that makes sense. He would literally make all this, or not really, but he would make all this bullshit from the dollar store and stuff. He'd and I was like, this stuff has to be so unhealthy. Like That's what literally <laughs> I always like thought. Like weird frozen foods like shrimp burritos oh. from the Dollar Tree. I was like, he needs to be careful. And then she told me he passed. That's why he damn died. For yeah, heart attack. Don't eat all, all your food from the dollar store. <laughs> Don't from eat the any. frozen section of the dollar store. Don't be eating that stuff. So Go out to the cake. $2 store at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're normally H -E close by. H-E-B. <laughs> when you're here, you're family. 
I was hearing that on the commercial the other night, and I kept on thinking, that sounds like the Olive Garden. H E B when you're here, your family. <laughs> but they don't actually say that, but I was just thinking that should be their cut. <laughs> That's the vibe. <laughs> That's a vibe in there. Yeah. Big time. Big time. We love H E B. We love H E B. We love H E B. Grant, you like it too, right? I love H E B. Do the other pe- <laughs> does the new person like H E B? Claire. Um Mike, do you guys like H B? H E B. Not H B. H B. H B. H B laptop visas. <laughs> big, big fans all around here. Cool. Cool. Confirmed. In Texas, they don't say pledge allegiance to the flag. They pledge allegiance to H E B. H E B. Damn Was it right they do. Something butts. Howard E butts. <laughs> Howard E butts. It's not cool. your reporting for duty. Normal. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Howard E butts. <laughs> The only man with a vendetta to kill. Um, that would be funny if he was on that sad movie. That would have a little well, comic relief in the All Quiet on the Western Front oh. if there's just a Howard E. Butts character. <laughs> Howard. <laughs> yeah, he dropped his glasses again. <laughs> what do we What do we do with Howard? Oh. Send him over the top. <laughs> Last one, we all know how scary Rachel's lunatic carousel is, and it doesn't take, you can't pay in quarters, you have to to pay in strands of hair. Very scary. So, cheap. Ooh, nasty. Nasty, and that's for the skeletons to eat. Number five, <laughs> the last and possibly, it's medium scary, it's not one of the scariest, but it's scary, okay. Pippin's Pass. So Pippin's Pass, as you Whoa, can see, that looks pretty scary. That looks super very scary, <laughs> very scary. But also, Grant, there's another picture. Show the other one too, so you can get a better understanding of Pippin's Pass. So where there's birds that are around. Pippin's oh man, Pass I'm sorry, often. that's the wrong one. But that one is Pippin's Pass. Yeah, the birds they stay. Copy and paste. There you Whoa. Go. Oh, do people do the Base. squirrel suits off of it? No way. Right into Pippin's of Pass. Course that's haunted. Naturally. That's probably the guy was probably the video I saw one time of the guy who's flying and his buddy's right there and then as he gets a little too close to the underside of the bridge and it just turns into a pink dust. Maybe he was his head. Maybe that uh maybe he jumped from Pippin's oh pass. I he guess we're jumped. all just pink dust. <laughs> yeah, we're all just pretty much pink dust whistling through the air. <laughs> Given enough velocity, we're all pink dust. <laughs> we're all Pippin's pass. <laughs> Pippin's Pass is this beautiful makeout point where all the teens oh. hook up and people have affairs and shit. Right by the skull? Right by the big <laughs> skull, but you can't see the skull from the highway. So basically, like, it's on an incline, so if you do not set your parking brake, you will fall off, and mm. if you have a squirrel suit, you're going to end up in the skeleton's head. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, so that's people try to get it, make it into there. They try to do it perfectly so they could zoop and stand right up in the eye. But most of the time, it never works. <laughs> it's like a modern day's. Uh, what is the big sculpture in South Dakota? Mount Rushman. Yeah, it looks like Mount Rushman's or something. A little bit, but it's only one head, and it's a skeleton head. <laughs> yeah, it's not as. It's not as uh, awe inspiring. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen that before? The skeleton, skeleton head? head? No, Mount Rushmore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've never been to Pippin's Pass, and I will never go. There's nothing you could do to make me go. Yeah, don't go up there. That would be horrible if you <laughs> drove up there, and then you forgot to put on that parking brake. <laughs> <Yeah>. And you, <laughs> you get back 30 minutes later, and you're like, fuck, where's the car? Oh, shit. It's in the, the parking mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you get out some binoculars, and <laughs> you can see it down there. And you do the binoculars off and you have those uh, raccoon eyes because somebody pranked you. That's like a classic prank, putting shoe polish on the other end of binoculars. Oh, my God. (laughs) This is before Ashton Kutcher. I know, before punked. Before he got in that crash. He crashed? Yeah. A week ago. What an idiot. Yeah, he's going way too fast. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to do donuts. Yeah, what are you thinking trying to do donuts in the middle of fucking yeah. Davenport? At least go he for... Davenport. He was in Davenport. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. At least go for cronuts. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> I bet they have cheese curds and stuff up there. Ooh, I ate some cheese curds. They seem pretty good. Uh-oh. Who's oh. that on Mount Rushman? Oh, my oh. God. There he is. Hi. Pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're a different color from everyone else. Yeah, what? It's newer. <laughs> it's, yeah, they recently It'll did construction. It'll roughen up over the years. 
That's how it was on, uh, what was Macaulay Culkin's movie where he had a bunch of money? Richie Rich? Richie Rich. Richie Rich. Blank check. I think Richie Rich made that place famous. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. Yeah, I think a lot of people didn't really know about it before that movie. Yeah, it was pretty underground. <laughs> I think it was literally underground for a while before they <laughs> boosted the rocks up. Yeah, it was made 2,000 years ago. <laughs> yeah. They had to uncover it. By the Aztecs. LIDAR. Yeah, I think the Aztecs were up there. <laughs> yeah, the Aztecs were all white. <laughs> they, That's what Hispanic people are, aren't they? A mix of Aztecs with uh, Spaniards? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the good ones are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Casey, that was a wonderful list, my friend. Thank you. That you was wonderful. <laughs> Davenport, we need to... <laughs> Look how modest he is. I mean, that was a hell of a list. We could probably put up a link to Davenport, Iowa, just their civic center or something, <laughs> if somebody wants to visit. We'll throw it up in the comments. Casey's a travel agent. If you want to book your next Davenport trip through him, you got to go through He gets through commish. Me. Use code Case EE. <laughs> Use code Case E Cheese at, at Davenport.edu. <laughs> what is that? C A S E and then C H E E S E or with the Y? Casey Cheese? Yeah. Case C A S E mm-hmm. E period cheese. Oh. Case E Cheese, like I'm Chuck E. Cheese's husband. Casey cheese. Casey cheese. <laughs> and you literally have to book through Casey to travel in, in Davenport. It's so literally, though. yeah, it's quarantined out right now. So you <laughs> literally have to go through Casey to step foot in there. Yeah. So good luck. You better be really nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you be he holds yeah. a key to Davenport. <laughs> yep. Literally, that's the only way you're getting in. I mean, it's quarantined out right now. Yeah. Big time. It's like Silent Hill. It's like <laughs> it's Silent, Silent Hill. Hill in that bitch. There's gates all surrounding the city somehow. <laughs> People are like, please let us get some supplies and <laughs> go to cases. the creamery. <laughs> <laughs> get your ass to the creamery. Go at 333, stick your thumb out, they'll give you a bucket of ice cream. What more do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Their whole economy is based on supernatural. That's it. <laughs> mining. That's it. <laughs> okay, Hans. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today, my Thanks friend. Thanks for having me, man. We get to stay with Hans in a condo. Yeah, we're staying with what? Hans this Oh, weekend. you're not getting your own rooms? Well, apparently the other two people we thought are not staying at that place, which would be fine if they were, but that's just too many people. So it sounds like they're not. So, yeah, we're maybe bunking up if that's okay. (laughs) Yeah, as long as that doesn't happen. Han's got a tattoo one time, and I immediately was doing that. (laughs) Yeah, out of nowhere. Accidental. If maybe it was like, you I don't never know really touched my chest. All of a sudden. But all of a sudden, okay, well. You love the forbidden. You love the. Tell me about it. Fucking, you know, to break my <laughs> boundaries. I love the forbidden. <laughs> <laughs> so you put your face on a Native American holy site. I love the forbidden. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Hans. Well, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I love you. You. I'll see you right now. You hang up first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what Erica and I do when we talk on no, the phone. Hang up. hang up first. <laughs> no, I'm not hanging up. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. 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 Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of the William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of the William Montgomery Show by subscribing to the William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of the William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. 
Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.